Okay, now we're on to something. Say that again, Elizabeth. Uh, n plus 2. Okay, n plus 2. Now let, we can stray it. So if n could be any integer, here's the set of all values of n, and this will be the outputs for our circle, right? So negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, or 3. n plus 2 is just going to make that negative 1 and that 0. Oh, whoops. We've got problems. Good idea. <clears throat> Other ideas. If n is the set of all regular integers, how can I write an expression in terms of n that's going to guarantee they're odd? Now, I could have made this easier if I had picked the other function, cotangent, because then sine would have been on the bottom, and those would have, those would have been multiples of, of pi, and that wouldn't have been a big deal, right? And that would have just been n, would have worked fine. What if I wanted to say, uh, what if I wanted to just limit myself for some reason, and this will come up sometimes, to just the even integers? How can I do that? Say it again. N over 2. N over 2? <coughs> Not necessarily, because like once again, that would be like negative 3 over 2, negative 2 over 2. But if I want to say just the set of all even integers. Could it be like the N to the X plus 1 or something like that? Well, OK, now we're getting, but if we're, if we're doing that into the X plus 1, you know, we're, this, it's going to grow, it's going to kind of grow exponentially. We're going to eventually have great big gaps in the numbers. It's a little easier than that. In fact, it's pretty darn easy if you think about it. This is one you're going to kick yourself. If, if I want to just say, how do I guarantee to make an even number? An even number. If I'm just starting with odd numbers, I mean, with just integers. Ah, that's it, right? I can just say that, that the, the set of all even integers, if n is the set of integers, then 2n is the set of all even integers, right? Because doubling an integer guarantees you're going to get an even integer. So if I were to do that, if, if these are n, and this is going to be 2n, look, I'd get negative 6, negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, 4. That's exactly what I would want if I were searching for even integers. So how can I push those over and make them odd? Minus, two n minus one, right? Sure, either 2n minus 1 or 2n plus 1, right? I'll just offset those results by 1. Does that make sense? Okay, That's a trick. With, I mean, that seems, sounds kind of weird that we, we do that a lot in math. There's a lot of times that we want to only choose odd or even integers. So our answer then is just this, 2n plus 1 or 2n minus 1 times pi halves. So that would be, does that make sense? That's our answer then? Where n is the set of all integers, this represents all infinite multiples of pi half, odd multiples of pi half. So those would be all the places where tangent is undefined. Okay? We good? Yeah. That may not seem like that's connected to much, but we'll see in the assignment why you might know that. Okay? Let's go uh, 205. Did you guys work on this assignment? Yeah.